on this commercial. We don't want that on there. Stupid commercials. Oh, man. This this is like the full 15-second one I can't get away of. No corporate sponsors here. We're just going to have radio silence until it's gone. Okay, I'm kidding. That's not right. It's the Miscellaneous Podcast. Is this going to get ugly now? Your hosts, Holly. I'd give real money if she'd shut up. And Josh. I don't want to get into what happened last night because it's only going to make me mad. With a title that says it all. Now let's go home. Let's get to it. Let's get to know your hosts with Q and A. And awesome. how you doing, Josh? Fantastic. Are you ready for today's show? Oh, you're the one with the recording device. <laughs> Question: What major things do you remember growing up that were big for you? Growing up, we had a game called Bigfoot, and that was always fun. We'd go over to my aunt's house. It was this big, like, Bigfoot stamper. I don't remember if we were chasing him or he was chasing us, but I just remember that uh, once he caught us or we caught him, we died. Yeah, I, I don't know if we were playing the game correctly. We probably weren't. Question. Now, what about, like, your teenager years? Like, anything that from there stand out? Oh, God, from high school? I remember, oh, Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, at work, I did a little thing like that. Everyone said Beavis and Butthead for second thing. Wow, really? Yeah. And I take my answer back. I want to do um, Lassie. I don't know. <laughs> well, and usually everyone's first thing was Nintendo. Oh, God, yeah. I grew up, I, and I did grow up with Nintendo. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Question. What was the first game you ever played on Nintendo? Oh, it was Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, that was everybody. That. I remember um, I had to go buy it. So I drove down on my my blue bike and picked it up from a pawn shop. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was crazy. I forgot how much it was. I remember we got ours for Christmas. It was, uh, I don't remember how old I was, but I remember we got it for Christmas. And we hooked it up and everything. We played Super Mario Brothers until uh, like we couldn't feel our left thumb because the controller hurt so bad. Yeah, and oh, Super Tecmo Bowl, you remember, uh, if you had Bo Jackson, you were undefeatable, pretty much. You could actually run, like, all the way back and forth across the field with Bo Jackson and not get caught. It was hilarious. I never had Bo Jackson, I don't think. It probably did, but I don't remember. I'm, I'm weird like that. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't good at it. It's okay. <laughs> BMX Mongoose. Neither. I choose Huffy. Everybody wanted a Mongoose, but everybody had a BMX or a Huffy. Big League Chew. Bubble Tape. I had to do Big League Chew only because, you know, growing up, I like sports. So it's like, you know, I always felt like I was, you know, some kind of sports person. Yeah, I was more bubble tape. All right. Bubble tape, you know, you could clip it onto your belt or whatever. So it was all right. We always had it in our pocket, trying to make it a little cool. Make it look like skull. <laughs> yeah. You remember turkey jerky that was in cans like Copenhagen? Yes. And I, I still love that stuff. It was horrible and it was salty, but I still love it. Matchbox? <laughs> Hot Wheels. Ooh. Um, Matchbox. Matchbox is more collectible than... Well, Matchbox is widely collectible. Hot Wheels is more like a like a niche market type thing. Hot Wheels had... Well, see, Hot Wheels had like the cooler cars. They had like, you know, the big fins and the... like. Like, you know, the cool tires and Matchbox had like, you know, an 87 Impala or something. It was, they didn't have like exciting cars. Wolfenstein. Duke Nukem. I'm going to go with Duke Nukem just because of the degree of difficulty. With Wolfenstein, all you had to do was point and click. With Duke Nukem, you actually had to fire and they had a bazooka. And you had to choose his sayings. That's true, too. You go up to the hooker and you keep, like, handing out the money because you wanted to hear everything <laughs> yeah. he said. Hail to the king, baby. Take this. Oh, yeah. Question. You went to public school, too, right? Yes. Yeah. Switch play Combs and, or Ninja Stars. Which one came first? You mean, the, the like, the paper folded up Ninja Stars? When I went to like Public real school. metal ninja stars yeah it was throwing knives it was ninja stars was like one year and the year before that or the year after that i don't want to remember was switchblade combs like and you could take them to school like you'd be in school digging you know in your desktop with a knife did you go to school in like feudal japan no. where did you go to school i wasn't <laughs> allowed to have knives at school yeah, yeah, when I was real young, um, and, and and you and me are the same age, pretty much. Oh, right? never had this. Stars? I could not have ninja stars at school. <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> I mean, look, I, you know, I, I went to school in the center of Illinois, but I mean, 
So did Good I. God. Oh, no, I went. I went to Missouri, early Missouri. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. No, we no, we didn't. Have, we couldn't bring Ninja Star. I mean, the Switchblade comb we were allowed to bring only because it wasn't really a weapon. Oh, so you do remember that? Oh yeah. Yeah, we could. I mean, I remember the ninja stars and stuff, but I mean, no, we weren't allowed to bring them to school. Rubber cement, that was a good thing growing up. Did you ever do that with the rubber cement, like all over your hand? And then... Oh, yeah, dude, we used to do that with uh, with Elmer's glue, too. You just, you know, it sucked because you had to keep your hand still for so long. Yeah. And then, uh, then you like, you look at like, it was always a girl that you looked at. Did you ever notice that? You looked at a girl and you like, you pulled your skin off, and she was like, oh my God. Question. How popular you were when you were a kid. And there's there's always two telltale signs that you were popular. One, Valentine's Day. It all depended on how many Valentines you got. And second, folded notes you passed to each other. Oh, yeah. I was one and not the other. I got a lot of Valentine's Day things because I was, I was just nice to people. That's before I became who I am. And uh, I didn't pass a lot of notes. I wasn't a note passer. They always avoided me. Well, I think it was because, like, I had, I have, I have that, that I can't lie. I don't have a good lying face. So, like, when I got a note, you know, I turn bright red and catch fire and shit. When I clicked on just, like, to have a nice symphony in the background, it was applause. So, <laughs> <laughs> nice. so it was applauding to what you're saying. Question. So you didn't, you, you just had the Valentine's. You didn't have the, or are you talking about the, the folded, the, notes right yeah yeah the notes that you pass through class i never i never really did that you had to have so many folded notes and that's when the girls got so intricate with them like they're like wizards taught them how to fold these things up. oh my god i used to watch people try to unfold them and it was it was like it's like if you if you tried to unfold it the wrong way it would tear and explode I think they took, like, see, because we didn't really notice a lot of girls at recess. I think when we went to recess and stuff, they took the girls aside and taught them how to fold this. The, the wizards? Yes. Is they, this they... before they molested them? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> molesting, did... molesting, was it origami wizards? Question. Did you do Bloody Mary? No, I actually didn't do Bloody Mary. Wow, I tried it one time. Nothing happened. Well, now that's also because of, you know, I have a a less than uh, Christian upbringing. So, you know, ghosts and things like that were were more, I wouldn't call feared, but respected than uh, than others. Yeah, do you, I mean, do you really think doing Bloody Mary in the uh, in the First Street house would have been uh, a good idea? No. <laughs> when we did the tarot cards, that, that was enough for me. Goodbye.